So I recently got back into playing a metric fuck ton of Borderlands 2. It's great, and the timing is fitting, considering Borderlands 3 comes out in September. Also, the first Borderlands just got import to the Xbox One and PS4. Thing is, the Handsome Collection is uh, free right now with PlayStation Plus. Uh, although I already have Borderlands 2 on the Xbox 360, I wanted to get it on PS4 since it was free, and a lot of friends would be playing it as well. Recently, I actually did a live stream where I played with subs. Again, I've been playing an absolute ton of this game, it's great, but let's talk about why. This is why I love Borderlands 2 and why it's my pick for Game of the Year 2012. So Borderlands 2's gameplay is actually very interesting and unique. It took the first Borderlands and amped it up by giving us a lot of what we loved about it and more. There are about five times the guns, the looting, the writing, the, the humor in the writing, the fun factor, it's all there. There's also a lot of additional stuff. Progression is great. Weapons actually have level requirements. There are, like I said, a whole bunch of guns in the game. There are more guns than there already were in the first game, uh, which is great for what the game is going for, a looter FPS. Um, on top of all this, getting to choose your attributes, what you look like, as if this is an RPG, makes this all the more interesting. I know it's generally supposed to be like that, but it's still really nice. There are different brands of different we of different guns, like uh, Hyperion is close range, J Jacobs is long range with the exception of the shotguns. There's a lot to be desired in terms of variety when it comes to this game. And movement is smooth, vehicle controls are actually somewhat not terrible. The, wi the wide actual variety of enemies, something you never see anywhere in first person shooters anymore, it's a plus all around. My only real complaint with this game is that the AI is shit in certain situations. I don't think I've ever covered visuals or graphics in a review for a game before, and my reason for that is because I could give less of negative 10 fucks about visuals, but they're too good to be ignored in Borderlands 2. The cell shaded comic book art style is absolutely stunning to look at. Like I said, I, I seriously can't get over it. Borderlands in all the games has a unique comic-like art style, and Borderlands 3's trailer took me back to this game. Uh, there are a lot of games like this uh, that, that are a breath of fresh air to look at. Games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, Cuphead, among many others. But Borderlands, and I mean like literally any Borderlands game, not just this one, whether it be this one, or the first one, or the pre-sequel, all of them have great art styles, and it's personally my favorite in a video game. Gearbox took a big risk by doing something actually unique with an FPS in an era where the FPS market is stale partially because of low standards fans. The, the risks paid off big time, and as I don't personally know of a single, loving, a single living soul who doesn't like Borderlands, if they do, they haven't told me. So Borderlands 2's story is different, which is good, that's a good thing, it's lazy to just, at this point, to just have the war FPS shooter that has a wacky over-the-top portrayal of World War 3. That was cool in 2009, but now it's 2019, uh, and the idea for, the, the idea is old because it's been done to death by now with games like COD, Battlefield, Warface, and others. Borderlands 2 starts off with a group of vault hunters trying to kill a guy named Handsome Jack, but the the plot fails miserably, and almost everyone dies except for you. You're recovered by a robot named Claptrap, the best and worst part of the story simultaneously. Uh, you, you, you fight through this land of ice, through different enemies, level up, get new guns, <clears throat> and there are a bunch of different boss fights and enemies. My favorite thing that ties into the story, though, is the dialogue the writing, the conversations between characters, the humor is that's dumb and self-aware at the same time, it's golden. When Claptrap says he wants women and morbidly obese men so the women will gravitate toward him had me laughing the whole time. Claptrap never shuts the hell up and it's annoying and hysterical at the same time. Anything Handsome Jack says can be considered quote of the year. Even Captain Flint, the first boss and the douchiest man alive, can ha well, was alive, spoilers, can have some humorous lines of dialogue. Apart from the dialogue, the progression through the story feels right and smooth. It's always fun to play with a friend. There's four player online and couch co-op. It's great. All of it just, all of it's great. Just great. My best way of being able to describe it is if you combine the first Iron Man movie with Reservoir Dogs. 
how it compares. So one thing I wanted to do in this review, and I've never done this before, is how it compares to its is how this game compares to the other games in its series. So overall, I think this is the best game in the Borderlands series. The first board I'm not going to count Tales from the Borderlands. <clears throat> the first Borderlands is a fantastic game, complete with a lot of things in the sec in the second, just less of it. <clears throat> Borderlands 2 is just amazing, game of the year 2012. And then Borderlands the pre-sequel is okay in my opinion. A bit underwhelming as the overall product, but still keeping the feel and atmosphere of the other two. And then Borderlands 3 isn't out yet, so I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Very nice experience. More videos are on the way, including some more reviews and a response to the vi to a video. But in the meantime, go check out my channel and if you su and if you and subscribe if you enjoy my shit. Bye.